on this episode of The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! That's, that's actually very fair. Trash can! Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Swoon, and you've been disappointed every time. Look, I've played so many Pokemon games, and I've checked all of the trash cans in so, so many of the Pokemon games that I've played. Tails, we're checking the fucking trash can, okay? Are you gonna get sad again if there's something in the trash bin? If there's not something? If there's nothing? <clears throat> Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Swoon? There's always something in the trash bin. Uh, all right, let's check the trash bin. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Swoon. Welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so <clears throat> to recap, because it's been a while since I've played, uh, Sonic's been murdered, uh, and we've spoken to uh, Rouge? and Espio, and Vector, and Knuckles so far. Uh, Amy is doing her own investigation. We're paired with Tails, and hopefully uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. We have a couple more, a couple more train cars to get through, uh, but we'll see what happens. I'm really excited. I, ha I, I don't want to just suspect Shadow outright, but so far the evidence like leans towards him or Rouge. What what confuses me the, what confuses me the most is how Sonic ended up where he ended up for the murder. Cause nobody said they saw Sonic pass through the cars. Yeah, okay, so we've got one last car and then the, the conductor car. Alright. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Hell, let's do it! I love this game, it's so charming. <clears throat> the lounge car, ooh! Now's as good a time as any to clean up my pockets. There isn't anything else in my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Huh. I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Thank you, Shadow. <laughs> we'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. Also, sorry, my voice is a little raspy. It's been so hot lately and like... As hydrated as I try staying, like, it just, like, evaporates out of me really fast. <laughs> I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Swoon, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right. Ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dearest Swoon. All right, before we talk to anybody, let's let's take Gander. We got, we got those adorable Chows playing music. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we got going on here. Presenting the big Chow band. Yeah. Look at them go! There's a computer, notes... What's out the window? Wow, Tails! You have to check this out! These windows are huge! What a view! I didn't realize this train would, have, would drive along the coast! Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice, I'd be on. I'd if this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing, oh my god. 
Uh, all right, let's check this out. Huh. A key ring must be Shadow's the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. You want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Keyring's added to our inventory. All right. -dum -bum -bum. I'm going to do the most inconspicuous stuff first, so let's check out the chow band. Actually, they might have information on, like, knowing, like, where Shadow's been or, like, how long he's been gone, you know? Hey, it's the big chow band. Give us a jam. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was spiritual. I feel reawakened. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right. Let's check the printer. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Uh, can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. T tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let that stump me. <laughs> Amazing. And here you go. This is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Can I print out the other one? Print something? Sonic rowing a boat. Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated. Have you ever tr have you ever had a printer work when you wanted it to? That's very very fair. <laughs> and there worked like a charm. Here you go. Why is he? Why is there? Sh I guess he is afraid of the ocean. Poor Sonic. <laughs> yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. All right, let's actually check the, the computer itself. They told us about this in my interview. <laughs> the lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. That's, that's actually very fair. Trash can, Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Swoon, and you've been disappointed every time. Look, I've played so many Pokemon games, and I've checked all of the trash cans in so, so many of the Pokemon games that I've played. Tails, we're checking the fucking trash can, okay? Are you gonna get sad again if there's something in the trash bin? If there's not something? If there's nothing? <coughs> Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Swoon? There's always something in the trash bin. Uh, all right, let's check the trash bin. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? No, I bet it's got a, something to do with Sonic. Well, I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper added to my inventory. I'm gonna check this this crumpled, oops, this crumpled inventory, crumpled, crumpled <laughs> paper out. Ball paper, I kinda wanna see what it is. I can't, the book, uh, book. Okay, fine. I did, uh, let's check out the other ditty real quick. Play us a ditty. Yeah! They don't miss. Those chow understand music. Uh, let's see. Sometimes there are like really tiny things in the other uh, cabins. <laughs> Nothing else. I'm gonna check this guy. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over those arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola? Nope. It's not listening to me. All I wanted was a nice cold chaos soda on this hot day. Huh. <sighs> 
I could run and get a chaos cult for you. Ah, and then, no, I'll be alright. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. This group of people are so kind. Jeez. Alright, alright. Swoon, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out, or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. I'll open the wardrobe for Tails. All right, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust, you opened the drawer too, the, the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <laughs> All right, so what's actually in there? What is this? Oh, Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Swoon. Uh, what, it's got, got to activate something. What the the back of the wardrobe opened? It's a full passageway back there. Come on, we have to see where this leads. I'm just curious, this must mean something big. I didn't talk to This is the library! There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library! I don't believe it. Shh, quick back through the passage before they spot us. Bro, <laughs> fucking me too, Tails. Like, ah! Tails and I are like literally the same. <laughs> we need to add it to our inventory. Hidden passage added to the inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. No, 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 no. We gotta talk to Amy first. We're not allowed to leave, right? Yeah, not yet. So that's... Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Uh, we've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a bright, a big light on this whole case. I hear caring is share, sharing is caring. No way, journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is she seems so confident. We'll hold you to it. Well, can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get a, until we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full-on dinner and I can't have any cake. You have priorities. I do respect that. It just makes sense. I want to talk to Shadow. Let's get... Come on, Shadow. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. It's so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Soon, we certainly will not. Um, well, can I take your order? I'll take you up on that coffee. But when I'm back in the dining car, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on a train is no better combination. Some marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. <laughs> Took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Why did you come over here? Uh, alright, well, start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and... And I know why! Uh, what? Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop by yours true found by yours truly. We're, we're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. 
Hmm. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? Uh, I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. <laughs> train of lo <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> sorry. You make me so sad, Tails. Yeah, that was that was kind of cringe, but like I, you know, at least I smiled for you. All, all right, if Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Swoon and I can explain the car change. However. Whoa. Dude, I suddenly think it was Espio. Swoon, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? To the dining car? Uh... Hang on, I want to look at this real quick. He was here... If this was unlocked, he could have come back here. He could have gone through there and then two sets of keys, bam, bam. He made it back there. Like he wanted a chili dog, right? But Knuckles didn't see Sonic come through. That's what bothers me the most and why I think Aspio might have done it. Because if everybody was preoccupied playing Super Monkey Ball, like they seemed really invested in playing Super Monkey Ball, then Espio... I'm sure as a, a, a chameleon type guy, he could have like cloaked himself and like gone through and then murdered Sonic. Oh God, but there's still Rouge. I have no idea. Okay, okay, but... Um, the evidence is this, the hidden passage. Okay, just get my thoughts in order. I don't want to play this. Okay. Okay, I got this. That's a lot of fucking rings. Mm. Fuck. I'll give it another try. Fuck. Alright, swoon in the future. Cut cut this out until I actually win, because boy oh boy am I having a hard time. It's it's disorienting because fuck! Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> Cause it's isometric. And so like ugh. pressing A and D to go left and right, like, even though that is left and right, it still, like, doesn't feel like it's left and right, and and W and S feels just as awkward. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck! Oh my god, I've got enough, okay. Huh. <laughs> because it's it's not exactly up and down, either. Ugh. Ugh. Swoon and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A, a secret passage! So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the a library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Excellent work, Swoon. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and drop the body off at the dining car. Huh. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. An Amy Rose theory. <laughs> no, I I don't like that one, Amy. Yeah, it needs some work, Amy. I, 
I don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. Ha! <laughs> Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. <laughs> Swoon, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was reading... I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Huh! <gasps> Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. <laughs> what was that? Say, say that again, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Bro, did I call it? Did I call it? Huh. <laughs> Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? <sighs> if you must know, I needed to give him a key. <clears throat> As if, why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Uh, well, Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. Well, that's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Uh, I... Didn't know that. Chad has been passing out keys. Perhaps Swoon and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do- yeah, because we've got two keys. What evidence supports that he was given keys away? The key- the two keys left. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. I don't want to do this again. Please, video game. Danganronpa games are too hard. I'm not good enough at this. Ugh. Give me all those rings. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I ain't afraid of you. I need some of these rings, some of those. I need so many rings. Oh god, at least it's not those. <laughs> Alright. Four? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many I've got. I'm just focused. Just hardline focused. Oh yeah, 75. I crushed it. Get that light bulb. <laughs> there's... There's only one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited that that went so smoothly. <laughs> There's only one reason there is exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Oh, well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. <laughs> Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? Uh, she's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I, I think Swoon and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. What does he keep including me to? Oh! Okay. Okay. What's the fucking reasoning? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. What do you mean for me? Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. <sighs> uh, just, uh, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. <laughs> but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Swoon. Ah, uh, we checked the trash can. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Stop talking, Tails, so that I can play Dang and Romp already. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> Come on. Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Swoon. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. Ah! <gasps> uh, what? What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? <sighs> How dare you? 
Swoon, show me evidence. If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? All right, all right, all right. Hills think Shadow is trying to keep just any way. All right. <clears throat> what evidence shows Shadow didn't want Amy to know? The crumpled paper. Yep. Just organize our thoughts. Great. Here we go again. Oh boy, my favorite thing to do in a video game. Collect rings. I should have jumped. Oh boy. I'm not gonna get enough this time. I'm gonna get enough. Holy shit, that's so many. Oh my god, I got enough. Okay, just get to the end. Just get to the end. Just get to the end. I don't need any more rings. Just get to the end. Get to the end. Where's the end? There's the end. We got the finish line. Okay. Oh my gosh. Pardon me while I drink some of my uh, caramel macchiato. He went rooting through the trash. Huh. Oh, what is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> oh, is this Hot Honey's website? <gasps> no way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey. It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. <gasps> Jeremy V is oh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where it's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. <gasps> what? Shadow, is this true? Are, are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? <sighs> I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How is it? Yes. That's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder. <laughs> Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oh, probably out of our, probably our fault here. Oh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live. I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. Concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you kept speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. <clears throat> Before the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door in the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key for the birthday girl. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. That's right, the birthday girl does get the birthday key. Yeah, I'm the birthday girl, so I have the birthday key. <laughs> Shadow, I, your gesture is so sweet. <laughs> After I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I, I don't know if I... <clears throat> too late. It's happening. <laughs> I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Ugh. Fine. 
Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Huh. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. <clears throat> my credibility as a journalist reporter <gasps> down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source of your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. <laughs> But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. <laughs> We're more than happy to have both of you. Soon, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then let's do it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This this is huge. This is big. It's amazing. Either either Sonic murdered himself by by making the train go too fast and getting flung through all the cars, or Espio did it. But I don't know. We'll have to find out on the next one. As always, stay safe, wash your hands, and sweet dreams.